A really exciting night ahead of us here at the Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon, and we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to. It is Juventus facing Real Madrid. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. the old lady of Italian football going with this starting 11. Wojciech Szczęsny between the posts. Sami Kedira plays with Miralem Pjanic in the centre of the park. And the main striker is the unmistakable Cristiano Ronaldo. And one of the most famous venues in world football, the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu, here in central Madrid on the Paseo de la Castellana. Yeah, I wasn't lucky enough to play here, but I've done a broadcast from pitch side and managed to sneak to the centre spot. That's the best place to get a view of a stadium, and this place is special. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Sergio Ramos plays with Rafael Varane at the back. Toni Kroos plays with Luka Modric in central midfield. And leading the line today is Karim Benzema. And the floodlights are shining down on the players here in the Spanish capital of Madrid. We're at the Bernabeu. I'm Derek Ray, I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage action to bring you tonight. It's Real Madrid up against Juventus. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Sergio Ramos plays with Rafael Varane at the back. Toni Kroos starts with Luka Modric in central midfield. And leading the line today is Karim Benzema. Well, who was Santiago Bernabeu, you might be asking. He was involved at Real Madrid for a long time as a player, director of football, coach, manager, club president from 1911 until 1978. Yeah, the steep-sided stands here, I believe, create a unique atmosphere in European football. Absolutely brilliant. And this is how Juventus will line up. Wojciech Szczęsny starts in goal. Sami Khedira plays with Miralem Pjanic in central midfield. And leading the attack today is the heart to contain Cristiano Ronaldo. One of the great things about football is that no one knows for sure what's going to happen. Let's see what unfolds here tonight. I'm Derek Ray, with me for commentary is Lee Dixon, and we're certainly in the mood for Champions League group stage action. 
it's Paris Saint-Germain against Atletico Madrid. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. right up the top of the world tree Neymar Lee what do you particularly like about him well defenders beware it's just when you think you've got him in the corner he wriggles his way out and he's away Interesting to compare and contrast PSG now with PSG a few years ago. Lee, you played against them in a pretty big contest before the big money came in. Yeah, this semi-final in 94, the Cup Winners' Cup, they had a few good players. They had the one exceptional one in David Ginola, and guess whose job it was to mark him? That'll be mine. Fortunately, I came out on top. Well, the team did, and we got to the final. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. And they are a team, Lee, known for their aggressive high pressing. Well, absolutely. That takes a lot of hard work, a lot of organisation, force the opposition to make early passes. The weakness of it, if you beat the high press, you can get exposed at the back. And here are the starters for Atletico. Jan Oblak gets the nod in goal. Felipe Luis starts with Juan Fran at the back. And the strike partnership, Antoine Griezmann plays alongside Diego Costa. Good evening and welcome ahead of what should be a pulsating night of football. My name is Derek Ray and with me for commentary is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to this evening. It's Atletico Madrid against Paris Saint-Germain. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. Tell you what, Lee, whatever way you slice it, Atletico have been one of Europe's foremost clubs in recent years. And of course, it was all capped off with the 2018 Europa League triumph. Well, that's right. And sometimes they go under the radar, Real Madrid, Barcelona are above them. But they're a really, really good football team. And they're managed well, coached well, and they've got some talent in their squad as well. Back in season 1992-93, the old European Cup as it was became the UEFA Champions League. Back in your playing days, Lee. Yeah, absolutely. I can just about remember that far back, Derek, <laughs> to be honest with you. But the players were a little bit cautious about the new Champions League and how it's going to take shape and the format, etc. But certainly uh, the European Cup is now a thing of the past. The Champions League has really taken shape. And this is the starting lineup for Atletico. Jan Oblak starts in goal. Diego Godin plays alongside Jose Maria Jimenez in central defence. And an attack, Diego Costa starts alongside Antoine Griezmann. And the PSG team looks like this. 
And you tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team. High pressing. Well, high pressing, high energy. I've played this system at Arsenal many a year under George Graham. It doesn't half work when it works well. Sometimes you can just get exposed to the back, but they've got it down to a T, to be fair. An exciting occasion stands before us here on the big European stage. One to look forward to, you would think. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box by Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to. It is Bayern Munich facing Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. If ever you get the chance to attend a training session at Bayern's Sebenerstrasse headquarters, take it. You cannot fail to be impressed by the club as a whole. No, exactly. And what I like about the club is that ex-players are heavily involved in the running of this football club. And that makes a big difference when decisions are being made because they're football decisions. That's what I like about this club. begins in goal. Jerome Boateng starts with Mats Hummels in central defence. James Rodriguez plays alongside Javi Martinez in central midfield. And leading the attack today is the lethal Robert Lewandowski. Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. I think both managers, Lee, are on the same wavelength tonight. 4-5-1 is the order of the evening. Well, if this formation stay like that on both sides, the midfield's going to have a traffic jam. Hundreds of players in that midfield area, but I think when the game starts... It's very much a temple of football, the Santiago Bernabeu, right here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, with me for commentary is Lee Dixon, and we're certainly in the mood for Champions League group stage action. It is Borussia Dortmund up against Bayern Munich. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. Borussia Dortmund side Roman Burki gets the nod in goal Mario Goetze plays with Julian Weigel in central midfield and they line up tonight with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage I'm interested Lee in 
finding out what was uppermost in your mind when you faced Bayern as a player? Well, I think it's very stereotypical to look at German footballers and say uh, they're very machine-like when they play. But whenever I played against Bayern Munich, it was always a case of looking at the team and finding no weaknesses. There's no areas of the team where you can exploit. And I think that's their biggest strength. And so the starting 11 for Bayern. And they are a team, Lee, known for their aggressive high pressing. Well, absolutely. That takes a lot of hard work, a lot of organisation, force the opposition to make early passes. The weakness of it, if you beat the high press, you can get exposed at the back. Good evening and welcome ahead of what should be a pulsating night of football. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Lee Dixon, and we've got UEFA Champions League group stage action to bring you tonight. It is Tottenham Hotspur up against Roma. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. Hotspur. Hugo Lloris begins this game in goal. Ben Davis starts with Kieran Trippier as fullbacks. Moussa Dembele starts alongside Eric Dyer in central midfield. And in attack, the always dangerous Harry Kane. When you think of Tottenham in the Champions League, your mind gets taken back to that heartbreaker really against Juventus in season 2017-2018, but it's all about the future, Lee. Well, Derek, when a team first gets into the Champions League, you're kind of happy just to be there, but I think Tottenham expect a little bit more. Certainly the fans do. We're just about to see how the Champions League journey starts this season. Here's the team for Roma. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield. The back four, the two full-backs will be expected to support but also defend and help out the centre-backs. An exciting occasion stands before us here on the big European stage. One to look forward to, you would think. My name's Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary on this game is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to this evening. It is Roma up against Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. the UEFA Champions League has come a long way since it came into existence back in 1992-93 and there are many Lee who say it's the highest standard of football you'll see anywhere well I think it is the best club competition uh, in the world I think the competition at the top at the end near the final etc is what it is but the tournament is strong throughout the group stages and then the knockout stages. it's the perfect format for me this the Roma starting 11 we're thinking 4-3-3 yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. 
A very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. And Spurs will go with this starting 11. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Kieran Trippier starts with Ben Davis as fullbacks. Moussa Dembele starts alongside Eric Dyer in central midfield. And in attack, the always dangerous Harry Kane. One of the great things about football is that no one knows for sure what's going to happen. Let's see what unfolds here tonight. I'm Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to. It is Manchester City versus Manchester United. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. many better players in Europe at the moment than Kevin De Bruyne. Lee Dixon, what sort of display do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, a brilliant one. There's nothing this lad can't do. He makes runs, he's a great passer of the ball, he gets in the box, he scores all kinds of goals. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Benjamin Mendy plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Fernandinho in central midfield. And leading the line is Sergio Aguero. Consider the success Manchester City have enjoyed in recent years, but you get the feeling that the Champions League and winning the Champions League would be bigger than anything for them. Well, absolutely. All of a sudden, it's become reachable with all the money they've spent over recent years. Now, Manchester City fans, players, coaches alike are looking at the big trophy and saying, we'll have a bit of that. And given your roots, Lee, you know all about what City fans might be thinking. Absolutely. Second division, relegation normally. But not now. Now all of a sudden it's Champions League. And the floodlights are shining down on the players here in the Spanish capital of Madrid. We're at the Bernabeu. My name is Derek Ray and with me for commentary is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage action to bring you tonight. It is Manchester United facing Manchester City. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. They line up for Manchester United. The formidable David De Gea starts in goal. Chris Smalling plays alongside Phil Jones in central defence. Alexis Sanchez starts with Jesse Lingard on the flanks. And the centrepiece of the attack is Romelu Lukaku.
Well, there's a trend emerging in football to use these great venues for other sports, Lee. The Santiago Bernabeu remains a true football stadium and, I must say, a very good playing surface. Oh, it's magnificent, Derek. Not like the pitches when I used to play. Bobbles everywhere. It's a billiard table out there. Absolutely pristine. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. Vincent Company plays alongside Nicolas Otamendi in central defence. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Fernandinho in central midfield. And leading the line is Sergio Aguero. 